Hello folks, welcome to Loop Learnings. This is the continuation of School Management System. If you are new to my channel, welcome and if you are returning, welcome back. In the last videos of this series, we created this dashboard and we kind of created the menu on the left side, on the upper side, there are tiles that will summarize the information. But this is just a skeleton. It's not bound with any of the data, um, which means now the next step is to actually bind the skeleton with the data and that's what we are going to do in the next couple of videos so what's the purpose of dashboard first of all well according to me there are two purposes number one it provides the functionality as a menu right so you can navigate from the dashboard and um, look you can let the user give access to whatever um, form or report you would like to give access to otherwise you can restrict the access as well so that's one purpose the second purpose of dashboard is to summarize the information to give a summarized view of the information so that's what I have made this dashboard for um, and and main these are the two main purposes of this dashboard and so if I click on manage students what should happen well, technically, I would like to give functionality to user that when, let's say, they have to search the student very quickly, so they don't have to go into, uh, you know, there is a student form as well. They don't have to go here and then type the name and search the student, right? Because there is a list box as well. So what I would like to do is I would like to give functionality that they can click here on this button. They should get a list of students and they can you know they can search for the student as well if they wish to do so so that's the functionality i would like to give also i would like to give functionality to open this form which is the actual student form from this particular dashboard so how that should happen well we'll have a button here or we can have a, a double click response here as well that we can look into it so that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. And, uh, you know, if something you want to learn, then definitely stick around. And also we are going to use SQL statement to fetch the data. All right. So we are going to fetch the data from the table called students because we are talking about students right now. So that's the table from here. We're going to fetch the information. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. So right, right click design view and I click on manage student and we'll go to the property of this button and we'll go to the event tab of the properties and click on dot 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 and here we are okay in the VB editor so we'll use the select statement to fetch the information from this table students this table and we can populate onto this list box all right so that's what we are going to do so we'll say me dot list dot rosos equals double quote double quote and we'll use select statement of sql select select what well we have to give that instruction so select student id okay student id comma student student name comma uh, roll number right so we can search from roll number um comma what else uh, well 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 father name let's say okay and then comma status from from where we have to fetch from table called students t by the way you can search from um the query as well if you have query if you have created now we have to because this is a list box and it is unbound list box we have to define some properties of this list box as well for example me dot list dot column heads heads which is the heading of each column and we want that so we'll keep it as true uh, we also look we are also looking for me dot list dot um, 
column um, count so you want to count how many columns will be displayed in this list box that we will know by counting this okay so this is the information we are displaying so let's count this one okay fine one two three four five so five columns and here we go then we'll define another property for list box me dot list dot column width with s okay and we define the column widths by saying 1.5 centimeter colon uh, next is student name so student name can be a little wider column so i'll say four centimeter and roll number also needs a wider column so let's say uh, let's say 2.5 centimeter a father name will say four centimeter again and then two centimeter is for the status now we can always come back and readjust this okay so let's go back to form and let's see how does it look like so we'll go to debug compile it no problem at all at the moment all right we will go to the form view all right now let me click on manage students here we go you see how every student information appears here now a couple of things i would like to do well we will expand a little bit student name more because student names could be wider and father name also could be wider so we'll uh, widen these two columns a little bit more and also for this student id i will change it to just id rather than student id okay so that i'm going to do so let's go back to design view and uh, let's go back to this button score and in here you know remember i said I, rather than student id i would like to see it as a id so it simply will say as id right that's it that's it. nothing more sql sql language is by the way the beautiful simplest language that you can use in coding right that's what my belief is. it's not really a coding language but it is a language right i'm sure uh, if i'm not mistaken it's a programming language uh, for the database particularly if i'm not mistaken okay so let's widen this to five centimeter and father name as well to five centimeter maybe roll number also will widen it to three centimeter okay so again you can uh, by the way i have only kept five set of information to be displayed onto this uh, let me debug onto this list box but you can have as many columns as possible it's your choice in fact you can have the entire student table in this list box so it's up to you but i like to keep you know summarized information so I'll click click on manage students again and now we see a little better organization onto our list box so you can see the student id has changed to just id and then student name and roll number father name student uh, status now this at the moment is i think this is in ascending mode right so you can do the you can uh, view the same information in descending mode also that we will do it later on but right now the purpose was to just to show uh, to fetch the data from this uh, table or query and populate it on to this list box next what i'm going to do is well as i said there is a student form button uh, there's a student form as well so what i would like to do is i would like to actually create a button here right which we can use to open this student form as a blank form so you know new records can be added if new student has arrived uh, or the new uh, person has arrived and we want to create them as a student we can create uh, them as a student okay and also you have the search functionality onto this form itself so you can use this form to search for the student so uh, the idea basically here was that we the dash on the dashboard 
we just simply quickly search we don't have to go to the uh, students right so that was the idea and uh, uh, this is what we can also double click on here and we can open a particular student record in this student form as well so we can do all of that in uh, VBA using VBA so let's have a button here okay and let me copy this button and let's bring it here let's widen a little bit and we'll call it btn uh, open because this will be used to open um, many forms right so and uh, we'll change the caption to open all right that's the caption and now let me change the color of the outline okay let's put that color in all right so open what well we will define that what to open and also let's uh, reduce this there's a lot of space here let's reduce that okay and this will make it as so we'll go to the property and we will make it as um, do we have any property for button can shrink can expand let's see i don't think so so we'll expand the size of it okay now what i would like to do is when i click on this button i would like to change the um, uh, caption of this button to open students form something like that that will be a bigger caption than the button uh, we'll figure it out so we'll go to design view many students and we'll come here and we will come here on the top and we'll say me dot btn open uh, dot caption okay oops not oh, what's happening dot caption okay equals open student form something like that we'll see okay let's debug it let's close that We'll go to the form view. I click here. Here we go. You know, caption is a little bit bigger. Maybe we can get rid of this icon and we can expand a little bit more to ensure that you know everything populates well. Okay. So let's see that. There we go. Open student form. All right. Um so that caption will be changed now this button should work and open the student form whenever we click on this button all right let's go that let's go to design view and let's go to event tab dot 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 okay now what i'm going to do is to put if statement why because this same button is going to be used for multiple uh form opening operation same one button all right so we'll uh, we'll do that so we'll say uh, well first of all we'll take the error handling code okay and in here we'll say if me dot uh ptn open dot caption equals open student form then to cmd dot open form and we'll put the form name and form name is student what's the form students with s f okay that's it and if so at the moment we'll just close it and we will close it so at the moment the caption is not open student form so i'll click here nothing happens right 
because it looks for the if and if property if uh, code that we have done behind it so we'll click on manage students and now the caption is changed to open student form now when i click on this button this form should open okay here we go now we can open a blank form which will be used to record or create a new student information all right so we will close that by the way you can also do you can so for example if you're high if you're opening form uh, to create a new student you can hide these uh, search options but i would i wouldn't recommend you can keep them on it's very useful okay so you close it that's what this button is for now in next video i'm going to demonstrate when you double click on any of the student name you open this form with that student's information which you have clicked on here okay because think from the user perspective we don't want to we don't want them to search from here mm -hmm. and then come back and search here again that that will defeat the purpose right so they should be having a functionality that we can double click on any of the student name and that this form should open and populate the student's information which was clicked on from this list box so that i'm going to demonstrate in the next video i hope that you have learned something in this video and uh, if you have please do let me know in the comments below and thank you for the response to the previous video by the way i really like it uh, so let's keep going and let's uh, finish this application and by the way we have to repeat this or uh, the same what we have shown today with all of the um, buttons which is going to be a lengthy video so i am going to create one or two more videos uh, but i'm not going to put the same code behind every single thing uh, on the video okay so uh, my idea is just to demonstrate how it is done so you can learn and once you know one or two videos you will be comfortable then i'll do the coding behind all of this button offline that's the idea anyway thanks for watching if you liked whatever you've seen smash the like button if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.